So welcome to the project demonstration of smart battery management system by using Raspberry Pi 4. So here we are doing the multiple features like we are going to calculate state of health and uh, state of charging and uh, individual battery voltages and we are going to charge these batteries using the active cell balancing based on the constant voltage concepts. So that will be achieved by our Raspberry Pi 4. So in order to measure the voltage of this battery packs, we are making use of a PIC microcontroller. Why? Because Raspberry Pi doesn't have the inbuilt analog to digital converter. That's why we are making use of this PIC microcontroller to convert this analog voltages from this voltage sensors to the serial and the data will be given as input to the Raspberry Pi 4 through this cable. And the battery pack voltages along with temperature will be monitored by this DS18B temperature sensor which is uh, working based on the one wire communication which is directly interfaced to our Raspberry Pi 4. So we are measuring the voltage from these three voltage sensors temperature from this temperature sensor continuously whenever the battery voltage is less than the threshold value. So in our battery uh, uh, BMS system we set the threshold value of 9 volts. So because we are using a 12 volts battery pack each battery pack of 12 volt 2 amps totally 12 volts 8 amps is the total battery pack voltage and each battery uh, like, uh, cell consists of 6 4 volt 1 amp batteries in that 3 are in parallel here 3 are in pa sorry in series so this is 3 on series so we will get 12 volt 1 amp and 12 volt 1 amp so these two are in parallel again so we will get 12 volt 2 amp so again this battery pack 1 battery pack 2 battery pack 3 are in parallel so we will get 12 volt 8 amps is a directly output from this whole battery system. So in order to uh, recharge that battery we are providing 230 volts AC input to this charging circuit. So which will convert the AC to DC and that to 12 volts DC. Through uh, relays we are providing the 12 volts DC power supply to this battery packs. So whenever the battery pack 1 voltage is less than the threshold value then automatically our Raspberry Pi will give a signal to the microcontroller to on this relay 1. At the same time for the relay 2, relay 3 for the battery pack 2 and battery pack 3. And from here we are going to check the load directly and this load indicates the battery health. So that will be calculated in terms of state of health and battery charging is the state of charging by using the Coulomb counting method means when we on the system. So to check for the initially battery voltages when it's sufficient then the SOC is going to be the zero because there is no charger got switched on. So whenever the battery voltage is less than the 9 volt then automatically uh, the relay will get switched on and from there we are going to calculate the state of charging using the Coulomb counting method nothing much for every 10 uh, like counts we are going to compare the previous value. So if the value is increasing means the present value is increased for uh, as the battery is charging then the state of charging is near to 100%. So of the 10 counts also if there is no battery voltage increasing for threshold value uh, like uh, prescribed value then the keep on the state of charging value will be decreases from 100 to 80, 60, 40 like that. Okay. So here uh, coming to these connections we are providing 5 volts power supply to this Raspberry Pi 4 here and uh, from there too we are distributing the 5 volts power supply throughout the modules from this breadboard. So here the breadboard is taking the 5 volts power supply and it is distributing that to the buzzer and LCD and the microcontroller. So LCD will display the like uh, battery pack 1, 2, 3 voltages along with temperature and the uh, next uh, SOC, SOH values and the buzzer will give the audible alerts whenever the temperature got increases threshold value. And the next PIC microcontroller interface to this voltage sensor at A0, A1, A2 pins and uh, serial output that C6, C7 is directly interfaced to over Raspberry Pi and this relays interface with the C6, C7 and C5 pins and the load was directly connected to the switch. So let us see the demonstration. So after we switch on the gauge then it will take around of 20 to 30 seconds for the booting. On successful booting, we can see the welcome message on the LCD screen. So one uh, welcome message displayed. So the system start reading input from the PIC microcontroller as it get the voltages from the voltage sensors. Right. Right. As we discussed, it's showing the voltages and SOC is 0, 0 as everything is normal now. So let me disconnect the battery. 
So if we disconnect the battery from the voltage sensor manually or automatically the battery voltage is less than the threshold value, the controller doesn't know about that. So its primary rule is when the voltage is less than threshold value, you need to on the relay as the command received from the Raspberry Pi and then after the voltages will be displayed on the LCD screen. So it will take maximum 3 to 4 readings right. Now we can get the SOC because we should get the 36 volts nearby but it's getting only less voltage right we can see that slightly the SOC got increases so when the uh, like one of the battery packs voltage coming to normal then we can observe the SOC value and SOH values come to the normal so this SOC and SOH values will be done with the help of data sets why because we have stored the data set which are downloaded from the Kaggle that data set consists of the battery voltage levels when it's charging and when it's discharging so we are going to compare that values to the data set and we are going to displaying that in the data set, uh, like on the LCD screen by comparing these values right and coming to the temperature right so now let me increase the temperature so as we are using ds 18 20 because it has a like waterproof and uh, fireproof temperature sensor right so the temperature got increased the threshold value when it is gross is the 50 degree centigrade sorry 40 degree centigrade then automatically it will keep on getting audible alerts right so we are using the data set for only active cell balancing and soc calculations soh calculations from the uh, data sets and the live readings from the battery packs.